Oh, Bill, there you go. So, Cody here, and I'm gonna give you my honest review, my honest farm review of this slippery, slippery racer snow sled. Uh, it comes with uh, <clears throat> just a regular tire inner tube, as you can see here. Just like you can find these at your local tire shop if it ever blows up or pops. Just a just an inner inner tube. Just get the correct dimensions on it. We haven't used this extensively, but. Uh, you could use just a regular inner tube. That's what you use, use tractor ones on your level. But uh, it comes with this pad. It fits right down where you sit on. Uh, it comes with a mini tube in there. Same, same idea. If you're not familiar with inner tubes for cars, they don't make them much anymore. But some people do use them still. So the sled itself, it's decently heavy duty. Yeah, I see a few scratch marks out there. But we haven't used it that much. It comes with a handle. I say the quality is. Oh, yeah. Nothing too special, nothing uh, not special enough. The only thing you might need is uh, if you're going to pull it with a four wheeler range or something, you'll need a little bit longer rope than this so you don't get wrapped around the tire. So, usually, what I do, I just take take this and even put like a ratchet strap on it, uh, <clears throat> putting your hitchy or whatever you're pulling it with around the yard. I guess most people probably don't, well, maybe you do, maybe some people pull it just by hand, but that's. That's not fast enough. That's not. That's kind of boring. So, if you want to go fast? Put it behind a snowmobile, or ranger, four wheeler. Uh, you can do that. So, it's well, pretty decent quality. So that's the slipper racer snow tube.